Okay, so today we're going to be, do, be doing our ingredients panel and we're going to start by learning how to use a type gauge because we'll need this in order to put our type in precisely. So to begin with, let's look at the parts of a type gauge. On the left here you will see a pica ruler. Remember, six picas equals one inch. And your pica, your type gauge may have the picas in a slightly different place. But here it is on this one. Okay, on this side is the inch ruler. And at the top is the point ruler. And remember, 12 points equal one pica and 72 picas equal one inch. So these are pretty small measurements. Down here at the bottom you can see that there are weights of lines or rules. And this is where you measure your rules. So you know whether to make a rule or a, a stroke one point or two points or a half a point or a hairline. Now when you're measuring to find your type size you lay this over your type and you place the E over your cap letter and whenever it's the same size you can be fairly sure that this would be the correct type size. You may also do this with the lowercase x, therefore x height. Okay, over here is our letting. And you lay this over your type baseline to baseline. And when a bunch of baselines match up, at least two you'll need, you know that this is what the letting is. So let's just say that you have a um, 12 point type with 11 point letting. Um, they would be here baseline to baseline. Okay, so let's look at the letting here. You can see the N and the F match up here at the 11 point letting. So you line up your type gauge over your type on that imaginary baseline that you have there. And there you have it. You see, 11 point type, uh, 11 point letting, sorry. Okay, now here's how you line up your um, type to figure out the type size. You put the type gauge over the N here, and you place the E over it. And when you get to uh, the one that matches, you will see that it's 12-point type. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to set this block of type. But we have to set it in a type uh, box to do this. So we have to figure out what the size is. So we're going to put the pica ruler over this and measure this and it measures 14 picas, 0 points wide and the height here or the depth is 6 picas, 0 points. Okay, so now Without the type gauge over it, you can see what the size is. All right, now when measuring the weight of the lines, you do the same thing. You put this over, the type gauge over the line, and you can see this is a one-point rule. These are probably a half a point here. Okay. Now, you want to make a box around your type after you get it all together. And again, you measure with the pica ruler 
to find out what those numbers are. And that's the end. Sorry about that. Goodbye now. Good luck to you. We're going to go on now and start making our ingredients panel.